so this is going to be a what's hidden message reading um for the full moon in virgo oh shit excuse me if you don't know now you know i'm a cursor <laughs> I, this is my first, why is this my first time saying that? I ain't said this with no other signs because y'all should already come on up. Anyway, yes, I have a potty mouth. Scorpio. So there's full moon in Virgo, right? It's called the hunger moon slash snow moon. And it's called that because during these times, did I do Scorpio already? I don't think I did, no. During this time, um... And the snow and the weather, it, 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 it messes up the usual way people used to get their money, how they farm, fish, harvest, you know, all of that stuff. So it just brings out the hunger in some people, okay? It shows how people adapt to change, okay? It's going to show whether people were prepared or they're not prepared. And it's just going to show you really um, what you need to get rid of and what you need to change in your life, period, right? If you're not prepared, it should be a time where you figure out how you're going to be prepared, right? What things you need to do so that you can stack and you can preserve so you won't be going through whatever it is that you're going through during this time. And again, for some people, you already, you prepared. So it's just going to be showing you something around the people that you're dealing with. In Scorpio, a world evaluating your inner circle of friends and colleagues. So this is what you're going to be. That's what I, I, I'm guessing. You know, it might not be. <laughs> Y'all gonna be reevaluating your friends and your colleagues who y'all been dealing with, you know, who y'all been looking up to. And it could be dealing with finances and whatnot. But again, this full moon in Virgo is dealing with it. If Virgo deals with isolation, healing. So while you're reevaluating your inner circle of friends and colleagues, you're gonna be doing this in a um in the hermit mode, okay, in the isolation mode, time out to yourself, you know, you're not going to be in this limelight, the crowd, it's only, the full moon's only here for like three days, so for these three days, you might find yourself like really like meditating more, um, not really doing the social scene so much, right, you just to yourself, because you really like evaluated the people around you, right, Let's hop in. Please keep in mind, um, somebody is hurt that you're like keeping your pinnacles to yourself, that you're stacking, that you're preserving. Whoever this is, why are they? Why are they hurt over this? Or you could be hurt over that. Like again, that you, and if it's somebody that's hurt and mad that you're stacking and you're preserving, you might need to reevaluate them. Okay, but um, there is stories I need to see that. Yeah, stand your ground. Oh, excuse me. Please keep in mind that the roles in the reading can be reversed. I could be saying Scorpio, but it could be whoever you're dealing with. Okay, I could be saying mother, it could be a father. I could say he could be she. So flip flop, put the pieces of the puzzle where they fit according to your situation. Okay, if the fit, the story does not fit, it does not fit. Take the pieces that do fit, though. Leave the rest. We don't wear too big shoes. We don't wear too little shoes. Please keep that in mind. Please, please, please keep that in mind. If it's not just your story, it's not your story. If it ain't your situation, it ain't your situation. Okay? Universe spirit, guys, give me... Oh, sorry. Background surrounding energy. The hangs on the reverse. Somebody's refusing to look at this situation from a different perspective but the universe is saying you need to look at this shit from a different perspective because whichever way you're looking at it from it ain't been serving you right you ain't been evaluating this situation in the right way you need to start evaluating in the right way but you're refusing to yeah yeah the money in your household is kind of messed up it's upside down so that why you were stacking it was like a shake up or something to, to the money in the household. Oh, no. Oh, I'm getting tired. Oh, excuse me. Give me five cards describing the energy of the hangman in reverse. Oh, my goodness. Um, You might be having car problems. The chariot in reverse. 
to the point that it's like stalling your travel. You might want it to travel, but right now you can't really travel because you might be having car problems. Or this, this could be the universe telling you whatever it was that you was doing. You was not trying to look at it from a different perspective. It ain't working in your favor. Okay, or flip-flop it. It ain't working in somebody's favor. The universe is like, uh, take a minute, take a hope. The universe is really trying to, t trying to get somebody to take a pause in a moment. They want somebody to look at something from a different perspective that somebody is kind of refusing to. And these are major arcanas. Yeah, somebody, you might have been out of sync with a loved one, okay? Y'all might have been going through some hard times, but right now you're ready to sell back to Common Waters. Yeah. You're, ready to, you're done fighting. You're done arguing. Somebody's done arguing. Somebody's done fighting. Yeah, because they feel like this is this is their everything. This, this is um, emotional contentment to them, okay? Somebody sees this as a happy life, happy family. Like, we can run off in the sunset. You can run off in the, you know, we just, we, we good. We got kids together. We're good. After a period of film, like, they wasn't bring somebody wasn't bringing the justice in the situation or the situation was not adjusted. It wasn't justified. Yeah, somebody, it, it's dealing with money. The money was kind of fucked up and it was just some rumors and gossip. Give me. I am so tired. Y'all might be tired too. Jesus Christ. Y'all probably just like, I'm tired. <laughs> and that's why y'all ready to move through these common waters after a period of being stuck in your head, paranoid, trapped, not knowing what to do, where you'll go. How do I think properly? Like, you know. Give me two more cards. Was there a fire sign involved? If somebody couldn't, they was trapped in their head over this, um, this fire sign. Or you could have fire in your chart. Yeah, somebody was trapped up in their head, couldn't sleep at night, having thoughts about this fire sign. This fire sign is upright. And maybe that's the reason why you couldn't sleep, because you wasn't looking at the situation with this fire sign from the right from the right way. You were, you were refusing to look at the situation for what it really was. Because it's this tree. And she's holding the wand, which is made up of this tree, this bark. That's how I see it every time I see it with this tied in. Yeah, you was looking, or you might have been judging somebody wrongly. Or you, I don't know. I don't know. Give me one more card. <laughs> We're about to fly it off. <laughs> the lovers, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a soulmate bond. And you feel like it's with this person. Whoever this person is, this is a good person, period. <laughs> um, Queen of Pentacles. This this person is a hardworking, ultimate parent. You know, take care of the home, take care of the job, take care of all of it. She does it all. She's holding it down. This could be an earth sign. Regardless of the sign, this is just a parent. Yeah. And they was trapping me at. And this is dealing with a bond. This is the this is the choice that needs to be made. So somebody just wants to move to common waters and get trapped get from trapped up out of their head with this person. Somebody wants to move to common water. Oh shit. I don't wanna look at that. Somebody Somebody was being stinky. And they was trying to hide it. Let me just see the outcome. Give me an outcome. Give me an outcome. Of what's heaven. Show me this outcome. 
I didn't want to get an outcome. I don't even usually get outcomes, but lately I don't want to be about that. No, uh uh. Give me a win. Oh god. Give me an outcome. It was something. Somebody not have, wasn't having. I'm gonna just say this: somebody is not like looking at a situation from a different perspective. Somebody's not having the breakthrough play that they need with a situation. Ace of Cups. Somebody's on try to. Yeah, somebody. Somebody might have been walking away from something that was once burdensome. To, yeah, whatever it was that you was dealing with, you or you was doing, you need to stop. That wasn't serving you. That was not <laughs> serving you for your higher self. Whoever it was, the person, the other person, they not having the breakthrough that they need. But they go. It's like somebody is trying to get their act right. Okay, basically, I'm just gonna say somebody's like somebody's trying to get their act right. Clarify the hanged one in reverse for my Scorpios. Okay. Hey, the pinnacles. Either somebody is not seeing that somebody was putting is putting in the hard work that needs to be done for the situation, trying to just produce more pinnacles, trying to bring in more pinnacles, or somebody is not seeing that somebody was putting work on somebody. <clears throat> Clarify the chariot in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, Jesus Christ. So if it was something that she was trying to do, it was not it, man. Something that she was trying to do and something that she was trying to plant as far as the Pentacles. The universe kind of halted it and stopped it. Are the people around you? Somebody was judging somebody wrongly. I don't know what I'm going to say. Clarify the Six of Swords. Seven of Wands, Death in Reverse. Somebody is standing their ground, they're fighting for their territory. They don't want it to end, and they want it to be a transfer. Basically, because they're trying to move the calm water. Clarify the Eight of Swords in reverse. Clarify this Eight of Swords in reverse. The Magician. Yeah, somebody is trying to now manifest the situation back <laughs> after a period of coming of being stuck in their head and coming up out of stuck in their head. They're trying to manifest the situation back. Clarify this Queen of Wands and Nine of Swords. Somebody judge somebody wrongly. Justice, I seen that. So this might have been your justice or your karma. That's why you can't sleep at night. Whatever was going on might have been your karma to the point that why you can't you judge this person wrongly. So they probably was like, okay, and they I don't know what they did. It was some it was something and now y'all ass could have sleep at night over the whole situation, but they upright, they good. So that's kind of like was on you. It was like the universe was trying to show you something, but you wasn't paying attention. You wasn't trying to. You was you was steadily looking at it from a different perspective, whatever perspective is. You know we all do that. You're looking at a situation from a different perspective until finally we get that aha moment where we be like. Oh, is that really what was going on? Is that really what they was trying to do? Is that really how they are? Like, just using your own, your own, how can I say it? Your own, whatever it was, it, it just wasn't, your judgment was kind of just thrown off. Whatever. What you feel like that your judgment was thrown off? Clarify the lovers. And the queen of pentacles, whether it's your partner or, you know.
the people around you that had you judging this person wrongly. Clarify the lovers and Queen of Pentacles. Oh, somebody is stalking. <laughs> somebody is stalking because they know somebody wants to leave. Period. So somebody needs to make it. Somebody. <laughs> somebody ready to make action. They don't want to leave. Again, they don't want to leave. Clarify this outcome. And clarify this outcome. Somebody is ready to take action. Clarify this outcome? Why am I doing this? Two of Cups in reverse, the Empress and Nine of Wands. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. But, um... Somebody wants this, even though you guys are out of sync. Somebody wants this, and they stay on their ground and keep going forward, period. Somebody wants this. Yeah, like, and somebody's going to be working with other people because they feel like it was a missed opportunity in love, but they feel like they want this. Somebody could even be pregnant. Mm. Give me a few cards on my deck so I can wrap this up with this bitch. True love is not too late. Lying. Whoa. Give me a few cards on my deck. Plan. Somebody or somebody has not was not planning. Oh Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Resentment. Breadcrumbing. Yeah, so somebody was breadcrumbing somebody because they felt re they felt like they had some type of resentment towards somebody. And I think that's why the universe is telling you to stop that. Whatever you was trying to do, it was like, you need to stop. Okay, but if somebody thinks somebody is like, what the fuck? Somebody is lying about something. Somebody probably was lying. Somebody was probably lying about their finances. That's where that breadcrumbing comes about. Pay attention. Hmm. Manipulation. Wow. Oh. Okay. Frenemies. Okay. What did I say? What is this? Somebody was listening to other people. Careless. In it for themselves. Ooh, all right. So it could be the people around you is what brought this whole resentment towards this other person. Had you lying, just doing shit, breadcrumbing this person, but this person is your true love, okay? Uh, or it could just be that I heavily feel like it was the frenemies involved too, right? Somebody is dealing, somebody dealing with some frenemies and they had them doing some careless ass, reckless shit, lying, manipulating, breadcrumbing, holding resentment, okay, just in it for themselves. For some of you guys, somebody is trying to manifest you back just to breadcrumb you because they hold some type of resentment towards you and you can flip flop it. This could be getting done to you. Just because they hold some type of resentment from you and because they know you got a true love that's actually coming in. Mm. 